Okay guys, so I have actually decided to create this series on Xcode because you really liked the previous video on I build an app completely with AI in Xcode, so it's for iOS. If you want, if you want me to do a video also on Android, so Android Studio and building apps on Android, uh, just leave a comment on that and I will definitely make it. But let's just stick with Xcode. So Xcode is the main platform for iOS building and or for building apps in iOS. Here you have just a brief uh, view on how it actually looks. In my opinion, building apps on in or in Xcode is way simpler than in uh, Android Studio. I really enjoy it and it's it just makes sense to me. I don't know why, but from the first like first when I opened Xcode, it was complete opposite of what I just said. It was super hard. I didn't know anything and I was struggling for weeks until I came into this point where I feel really comfortable in Xcode. So that's why I want for you to also achieve after watching this video. All right, so this video is just a quick uh, tutorial on how to navigate in Xcode. We won't be using AI much, but in the next uh, few videos, I'm going to build um, <clears throat> some simple apps with you and then we're going to move into a whole different project or maybe I will leave that for my school community, which will be launching this December. So stay tuned for that, but I'm just jumping too much into the future. Let's continue with the video. All right, so I'm going to take it from the complete basics. Uh, how to download Xcode, Xcode is you just go to Xcode and hit download. I'm not trying to make you look stupid or feel stupid. I'm pretty sure you know how to download apps, but just making sure here you click download and boom, it's downloading. Get to know Xcode. Okay, so leverage coding models in Xcode. We're using Swift. Swift is a pretty easy language also. I mean, Apple does everything really clean and smooth. So I really enjoy Swift code. Uh, yeah, and here are just some some basic stuff about it. You can read it. But yeah, this is how the Xcode logo looks. Pretty similar, but just it's orange. And yeah, if we look into the design, you can see that we can... Th this is something new, basically. So adopt liquid glass, uh, explore the new design, discover SF... Uh, symbol seven all of this stuff which is going to basically after the series my goal with the series is to make you an pro in developing apps in ios this is the goal and we're going to do it pretty simple we're going to do it from the scratch you're going to see me do everything i'm also going to learn some stuff even though i know a lot of it but just for the sake of the, the series i'm going to learn some stuff with you for that we're going to use my favorite tool Claude. Why Claude? Why not, for example, GPT or DeepSeek? Because, oh, got to verify my payment method. Because Claude is the best in coding, at least for me. But also you can look at the statistics. Claude is the best. So whatever you write it, it will give you the code. It's organized. On the other hand, GPT, I'm sorry, but even GPT-5, it's just still stupid when it comes to code. Just in my opinion, you can use GPT, but uh, for the best for the best results, I'm going to use Claude. I'm on the paid version. It costs twenty dollars a month, and you can use these uh, Opus and Sonnet mo models. And yeah, that's pretty good. The issue with Claude on the free version is the limit, you know. So if you want to build an app and do a lot of troubleshooting, you have to buy the subscription because otherwise it won't let you do much okay so we're going to leave all of this um liquid glass and all of these designs and features on the next videos but now let's actually jump into xcode itself all right so here in the background you can see android studio we can close that and this is how xcode looks so i'm just going to start with creating a new project you can see i have a bunch of projects here but let's just create a new project of course you can clone git rep, rep sorry i cannot say it right now it's it's too late and or you can open existing project but we're going to create a new one and now the important stuff um i i must i assume you just want to do ios if you want mac os or watch os tv os blah 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 of course we can also cover that in the future videos and that's a sentence i will probably use a lot so i'm sorry about that but you're gonna just do ios app and click next simple as that now of course the product name we can do like test test for video and organization ident identifier, you can just go, and uh, we can leave it like this. An interface is Swift UI, 100% language is Swift, and boom, you can just hit next. Now, uh, where to actually, <clears throat> where to actually like create the file? Of course, we're going to just create it on on the desktop. Sorry, in the desktop, doesn't matter that much. 
but boom now we're in xcode so don't be scared i'm going to cover everything as i said this is the interface you will be working here a lot you have the left panel which is for your tabs uh sorry for your folder folders and files here you got the content of the files itself and here you got your view here uh, you can see that this is basically the loading here you can see what what xcode is basically doing so now it's ready and it's just loading right here and uh, another thing here you can choose the device you want the simulator to look or to simulate sorry uh, we're going to see that pop up in a minute now it's loading the content view and boom we have the iphone right here this just says hello world but first before we're going to jump into changing all this text and playing with the simulator let me just quickly uh, give you a run on how to actually add files or delete them or rename them just the basic stuff so you're going to click on for example test for video yeah it's the only file uh, folder we have right now you're going to right click and you're going to do either new empty file or new folder so folder holds a lot of files and file is just a singular file as you can see here these two so yeah this is the content view and this is the folder of the whole app itself we can create more folder more sorry more folders or more files as i already said but we don't need that right now assets that's something i'm going to move into in the vi next videos basically so let me jump straight into content view because i know you see a lot of um different things here but we're going to walk through them when we actually need them you know i could explain everything right now but it would not give you that much value um as if i or when i'm going to as if i actually use them when we need it so for example when an error pops up you're going to see it here we're going to have everything organized and fix it with claude the content view file is what we basically see um not always it has to be called content view but most of the time it should should be called content view and just quickly to understand swift this is all the text we have here and you can see the image is globe and the text is hello world so just from that you can already see or probably like get the context or context of what this text is you know it's here of course so if i right now rewrite the text you can see it's 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 changing in real time so i'm just going to keep hello and here i'm going to do for example um a square for example boom so we have a square just like that or we can do house boom we have house so it's pretty simple as i said and if you actually change this from large for example to small uh the image it will actually your small like suggestion so you just hit enter and boom it's small all right so now i have pasted this code into xcode and boom we have an interactive screen which is a little bit prettier we have some color changes uh it's you know shaped like a little button we have this house that is moving so yeah we made some improvements but what if we for example get an error right and matter of fact this code is simply just by one prompt saying hey improve this code just improve it so yeah let's let's actually try to handle some errors and that's what we're going to end the video with i'm going to explain that when you for example type something right uh sorry wrong and claude can do this also you have an error okay so in this case it's pretty simple we just have two files so we just check them oh there's an error and boom you cannot find blue in scope of course because we remove we move we removed the dot that's why we get the error but what if you want to locate the error the code is super long and all of that stuff and you will never get only one error you know most of the time you will get like 10 or even 100 so what you will do is you will navigate into this triangle you will click it and here you have the exact location of the error so this is how you handle errors and in the next video I'm going to show you how to run, how to clean the syst or the, the code, how to change the different settings, and then we're going to actually start building and trying out maybe the liquid glass or the new features. And yeah, if you like this video, if you like this concept, then leave me a comment, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.